Trojan MMA's Johnny Bryant coming out in this men's flyweight tilt. That's 59 kilos, Chris, for those of you at home. Keeping count, 125 pounds. These are the light, fast, quick, and dangerous. That's basically half of me, Steve, I can't be honest. Trojan MMA, by the way. Trojan MMA, they're old school gym. They've been around forever. They have Ronnie Mann back in the day. So they've really been churning out. Yeah, churning out really good. Alex Reed, maybe? I made that up. But like, definitely they've been churning out high quality pro fighters for a long time. Standing across from him will be Jean Kamali from Norway, from Craft Performance Center in just a few moments. This is for the British flyweight title. Oh. Trojan Free Fighters. Oh, They've been around players. forever. Literally, for, it's Cheltenham, I think. Trojan Free Fighters. Scan through Vaseline. Now, Steve, not only do we have Battle Arena today, there's a big UFC card tonight. I want to know your picks. I always value your opinion. Who are we going to... Well, let's start with Murai Cejudo. Oh, Cejudo is fighting tonight, isn't he? Yeah, and this could nice. be on record. <laughs> it's only be uploaded after the fight, so you're going to look are really they making stupid him defend his, Are they making him defend his flyweight title or is it for the bantamweight title? It's for the vacant bantamweight title. Oh, good. Yeah. Then I give it to Morass. Yeah, I think he's odds-on favorite, or it's very even. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's gonna be such a. That's a hard one to call. Yeah. I want Sujudo to win it, but Morris, he's been on such a tear lately, and he had such. He's had such a long career. I think he kind of deserves it, but. And I want Ugly Tony to win, but I also want yeah. the Cowboy to win. <laughs> Gene Kamali from Norway at the Craft Performance Center coming all the way over here. And there we go. We've got walkout music bingo, baby. The Lincoln Park. That is a classic one. I like this song, though. I do. Of all the songs that everyone has over and over again, this is quite a good one. But everyone listening on YouTube right now, I think they have to change the audio. So you, know oh, you guys don't know. So underneath this particular fight you can tell us about all your favorite walkout songs yeah, those of cool. you listening at home what are your favorite walkout songs let us know you can follow me at at from the brink on instagram or you could just you know yeah. say hi on facebook or something like that but in the meantime we've got a really really awesome tilt that's coming up and this is in the flyweight division chris this is probably my favorite division yeah. of all time mostly because my two brothers-in-law fight at, fight in a cage warriors and roc yeah. respectively and my brother-in-law, Sam Creasy, is going to be flyweight world champion in a, in a month. But other than that, it's the fastest, most technical weight class that we have. Yeah, cardio for days. I'm so excited for this fight. And it's on the battle arena. Oh, it's such an amazing card so far, Steve. We've had some knockouts. We've had some, a lot of chokeouts, actually. Some really great submissions, triangles, rear naked chokes with very little time left in the round been a really exciting night of action and if you can come along watch a battle arena live in person yourself there is nothing like watching this live because you watch on tv it feels like a movie it doesn't feel real you come and do the actual thing you hear the bone on bone you hear those shots land you see the fighters eyes Dare from Bryant. This is intense. They both want that belt, that strap. I'm a bit intimidated just being over here. And Kamali, we've got a just your classic mesomorph over there, and Johnny Bryant. They come to the center of the, the cage, no touch of gloves, and this is for a championship. Oh, That's some big dump, wow. big slam from Bryant. That's That'll kick things into high gear. That'll do it. There he's got a can get a strong cross face. Got to try to hold these positions really hard at the very beginning of a fight when the, your opponent's so explosive. But I think look, Brian's trying to lock down. Look at that elbow! Like he's tight on the hips. You see the knee and elbow on the hips. That was very good control. Now he's trying to transition towards the head. Getting like Kezagatami. I think he may be a judo guy. The way he's holding him on the floor. 
Always oh, looking to get some ground and pound going. Sometimes the light, really lightweight classes, you don't see actually that much groundwork because the guys kind of spring back to their feet all the time, but not in this case. Johnny Bryant's got some pressure. He does, definitely. Look at him dropping, twisting that hip down, holding the hips oh, of Kamali does. down. Now he's he's smacking the hammer fists left and right. And he's looking to try to trap that <laughs> arm. Crucifix. Oh, a tight crucifix. Landing a lot. He's trying to isolate the other arm. And Kamali's giving that arm away. Oh, possibly I think he's trying to Kimura. break the other arm. Yeah, Brian, good, cor good cornering. Brian responded well to his corner for the underhook. Oh, he's still after that Americana. I think he might have... Uh, Using the head to try and press the arm away. Now he's switching to a north-south choke. Ooh, this is good. It's low. It's under the chin. He set that up very nicely. Very well nice that arm move. not in. He's it's got a got very unusual submission. He might be able to get it. Oh, he's got a twist in the face of Kamali. Kamali's not oh, liking low, this at all. Low. Kamali's out. He's Kamali's in. out. Ooh, oh, he gets back on top, back with the pressure on top. Beautiful transitions from Johnny Bryant. Absolutely fantastic. This is what I've been waiting all night for. Just incredible display of technique, and we're getting it from Bryant. Just constant, just the pressure, the body position, these submission attempts, stringing them together. He's going to try and take the arm now. Kimura, maybe. Oh, take, the back. take the back. Bryant Ooh. trying. Nice, Kamali Khabib again. Yep, Kamali trying to roll out. Using Brian's that got that trap. single wrist. Control oh, he's under the, the neck. neck. This is done. Oh, no. He kind of gets hands together. So hard with those gloves. He's got them together now. I think the big gloves he's made squeezing. it hard to finish. It's all over. It's all over. Whoa. And we've got a new British champion. Wow. What absolute confidence. Kamali did not even... Wasn't able to get out of first gear in there. Brian didn't give him a second to breathe. Steve, you've got to ask Johnny Bryant how he got so good at Jiu-Jitsu. That was impressive. Oh, it was wicked. That was so strong. What an amazing performance there from Joey Bryant from Trojan MMA. The Trojan Free Fighters. Wow. That was... I want to watch that again in slow motion. Just the transitions, constant hip control pressure, escaping, transitioning back into the forwards, listening to his team. Adjusted well. Just that was excellent. Absolutely excellent. Really, really good. Great to see, great to see a performance like that from a British fighter, especially against a game Norwegian fighter who was coming out trying to stay at range. And I don't want to be biased, Steve, but this is a British title. Why would, why is the Norwegian going to win it? We need a British guy with a British title and a British gym. Yeah, yeah. Close the board. That's not, not that's not xenophobic at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and I'll be in with the interview in a moment. Hi there, and I'm here with your, what, a, what an amazing, amazing fight, almost picture perfect. I'm here with Johnny Bright, your new British bantamweight champion. That's all right. Johnny, your team's looking out for you again. You didn't even give him a, you didn't give Camille a second to get into that fight. Was that pretty much the way you planned that fight going the whole time you were training? Yeah, basically, well, you know, we, we knew he was a kickboxer. We knew, like, she's a strikes and stuff, so I just wanted to close him down, just make sure he didn't have a chance. I saw that front kick came and I was like, you know, I'm, that's it. I'll take you to ground and I'm going to come to my world. You're a man after my own heart there. And the pressure that you were putting on him there, were you surprised at his, def at his defense or the fact that he was able to survive? Yeah, he was quite he was quite a tough guy. You know, I was hitting him with stuff and he was just coming back back for more. So, you know, fair play to him. Fair play to him. I could see by your stare at the very beginning of the fight that you were really focused on this. How's your training camp been? <laughs> Is there anyone you got to thank? What do you think? Coach Paul, obviously all the guys from Trojan, Trojan Gloucester. Um, I mean, I've had two pullouts in the past like six months. I've been, this is a six-month fight camp for me, so I've just been raring to go, raring to go. 
Well, I think your next fight camp should be at least six months then too, because that was an amazing performance. You want to give a shout out to anybody at home? Just, uh, just everyone from Trojan Free Fighters. Oh, my family, mum, dad, brother, everyone. Chad, thank you very much. Dad. Come here, dad. Here he is. He's hey, my boy. That's good. I'm so proud of it. You are to be. You really are to be. Well, I, I'm hoping to see you again, Joey Bryant. If you can come and defend that title, we'd love to have you again. 100%, 100%. We'll we'll cure it up for you, Joey. You know, Joey Bryant, your new bantamweight champion, and we're gonna go back to the action now, Battle Arena.